One of the reasons I, I love to bring my students here is, is um, these beautiful mossy ledges that all of this limestone was scraped bare by the glacier. And without any soil on it, for the most part, the rooted plants can't grow. And then it makes these, these gorgeous habitats for all of the mosses. And you might at first just look around you and say, okay, there's a green carpet on the rocks. But when your eye starts to become tuned and you, you, know, you use all of your senses, you realize that there's no such thing as just moss, it's mosses. There's all these different kinds. And I mean, just look in here and the thousand shades of green. There's, there's the bright lime green and the rusty orange green and the brownie green and the bright grass green, the shiny ones, the dull ones. Every one of them is a different species. And it starts to just draw you in closer and closer to see how they, they live their lives. Um, they're, just, they're just amazing. I, I come to this place often and particularly as a teaching landscape because it's a place where the geology and the botany and the birds and the people all um, come together and it's a place to be able to teach natural history, ecology and cultural relationship as well. You know for me all of the plants are, are teachers, they're, they're, they have things that we could learn from them and the, the mosses are the oldest plants on earth. And if you look at the fossils of mosses and you look at contemporary mosses, they haven't changed very much. So what we're talking about here is that the oldest plants on the planet are right here. And that means that these plants that have existed since plants even came onto the land have endured every climate change that has ever happened on earth. They have endured when most organisms have gone extinct, the mosses have endured. So you have to look at these and say, well, how did you do it? What lessons do you have for us mosses about how we could live? Um, how do we adapt and how are we resilient in the face of the, of the changes that, that are upon us? One of the answers that the mosses have for you is, is simplicity. They ask very little of their environment and they give a lot back. It may just look like a green blanket, but they're harboring so much biodiversity. They're called the coral reef of the forest for all the little critters that live in these tiny little moss forests. They make soil, they purify water, they create habitats for other, they give a lot and don't take much. They live simply, they don't change the environment, they live within the environment. And so then we ask ourselves, well, how did they persist through every climate change that has ever been on the planet. Well, that's how, being small, adaptable, and, and not changing the environment, but adapting to the environment.